on the eve of our nation's 246th birthday. Rita Braver takes us to a roadside attraction that's quite simply monumental. If you've always wanted to get close to a head of state, then welcome to this swampy field just outside historic Williamsburg, Virginia. I have my rain boots, so I'm ready for the mud and all the mulch and everything. They're just huge. The gigantic and decaying busts, some 20 feet tall, weighing several tons each, portray every president from George Washington to George W. Bush. The photos doesn't do it justice. But they're an accidental tourist attraction. This whole thing is a vibe. You kind of would expect them to be like in a museum and said they're outside, just in the elements. All on the site of Howard Hankins' recycling center. I restored Jackson all the way, so he got painted up and he looked really good for a while. Hankins, who was also a builder, had originally helped construct a park for the busts that opened in 2004 to capitalize on the Williamsburg tourism industry. But just six years later... The economy hit them hard. They just couldn't keep the doors open. And they called me up and asked me if I'd crush them. So I crushed concrete. Why didn't you want to say, OK, let's just get rid of these things? Nobody well, wants They're to. our history. I don't care who it is. You save it, and you learn from it. So he decided to use his company resources and move the presidents, which resulted in damage to all of them, some of it major. Lincoln over there, he got dropped. And broke the back of his head open a little bit. I'm sorry. Yeah, he'll be all right. I can fix it. Hankins just plopped the heads on his property, but quietly word got out. Visitors started sneaking in and posting photos on social media, attracting still more attention from history buffs like John Plashall. I am a medical device sales professional by <laughs> primary profession. He's also a photographer drawn to these eerie images. So he asked Howard Hankins to let him come in and take pictures here one night. Which he obliged, I guess maybe because I was very polite to him, and then I was hooked. So hooked that he convinced Hankins to open the property about once a month, selling tickets online and allowing small groups of visitors and guided tours. Welcome to the President's Heads. Thank you for spending time to come out here on this breezy day. It started out locally. Then it expanded to a national thing, and now it's international. And the decaying heads have now gained an even bigger following. Deep in the middle of Virginia sits one of the creepiest things on Google Maps. This TikTok post has almost 8 million views. It all sort of delights the man who created the statues. It amazes me. I'm sorry that they were all busted up. If I had known they were going to be moved. I could have told the guy how to move them. 95-year-old David Addix, a successful painter and sculptor with prominent works in his native Texas, is the one who created the heads, inspired by a trip to Mount Rushmore in the early 1990s. I was overwhelmed, but disappointed that I couldn't get closer and look in their eyes. But you I felt was doing like it. they were just too far away. Yeah. Driving back in the middle of the night, the idea came into my small little brain. Wouldn't it be great to do the presents, not just four, but all of them? He has his own private collection outside his Houston studio, just below a busy interstate. Well, it's quite an array, I have to say. It kind of stops you in your tracks, array. for sure. Thank you. It is an array. His most recent sculpture is of Barack Obama. As this documentary shows, Addicts first carves a small serious. clay model then makes a larger styrofoam base, eventually creating plastic, molds plastic that are filled together. with concrete to cast the statues. The shoulders are built separately on wire frames. He says making one of the busts takes about a month. Why do you think it's important for Americans to see statues like these, well, to have history. statues like these? History? Why does anybody have a statue of anything? You know, history. Addicts originally hoped there would be at least three different centers featuring these busts, but a park in South Dakota near Mount Rushmore went out of business. So now the only place visitors can see them is at that Virginia recycling plant, which drew Jordan Patterson and Eric Nelson, who see meaning in the decay. 
Some of them are crumbling and some of them are new and some of them are more damaged than others. It's almost like they're still looking over their people in a way, if you could in think a of it. Hierarchy. Yeah, not necessarily putting them on a pedestal, but just the magnitude of what they represented. And Howard Hankins, who saved these statues, says he will try to preserve them, but not to repair them. Some people really like the decay, the way they look, the weathering and all that. Do you? Yeah, it does give them more character. I probably will keep them that way. A lot of people have really praised you for the fact that you just wouldn't destroy these things. I've gotten some touching letters from kids that really uh, affect you thanking me and I've had him send me a gift card for $10 and it was like, are you kidding me? Seriously? Yeah, thank you. And uh, it's for them mainly. Let them come out and enjoy them.